This is Heather's 2, continued, starring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder. Dalton Donner, Miss Sawyer, the young Veronica Sawyer, and J.D. are gathered, the, gathered in the cafeteria at, at Westerbrook High School. In the context of the story of Heather's that takes place on Earth, this is the scene where Veronica Sawyer meets J.D. for the first time. She seems very smitten by him. In the alternate take of Heather's that takes place on Planet Shana Q, Dalton Donner and the older Veronica Sawyer's Miss Sawyer, the principal of Westerbrook High School, enter the cafeteria to talk to J.D. and Veronica Sawyer. Dalton Donner looks at J.D. and Veronica Sawyer and begins speaking to them. Hi, Veronica. Hi, J.D. It's nice to see you. Who are you, people? I'm you in the future. I'm the principal of Westerbrook High School. This is Dalton Donner, our science teacher at Westerbrook High School. We are dating. This is the person I'm going to be dating in the future? Yes, Miss Sawyer. It is I who you will be dating in the future, both the archetypal, archetypal me, who is Dalton Don, our science teacher at Westbury High School, and Mike Meyer, the real-life person who portrays me. The real-life person who is you, known as Winona Ryder, is going to be dating Mike Meyer. That's wonderful. I agree with that. The events that take place on planet Earth at Westbrook High School are mirrored by the events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet Janaki with some alternative details. Correspondingly, the events that take place in the real lives of the actors who portray the characters in Heathers will mirror somewhat the events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet Janaki. For this reason, Mike Meyer will be dating Winona Ryder in the future. It is predestined for the fact that Westerberg High School on Planet John Q mirrors the events of Westbrook High School on Planet Earth. That's amazing. Meanwhile, at Westerbrook High School, on planet Earth, Dalton Donner is giving a lecture to his science students about the search for extraterrestrial intelligence in the universe. He works with this branch of NASA, SETI, S-E-T-I, and has a lot to say about it. Good morning, students. Welcome to class. Today, I will be discussing life on other planets. For starters, do any of you believe in life on other planets? A guy named Harlan raises his hand to respond. Yes, Harlan, do you believe? I must admit, I am quite skeptical. I want so much to believe. I think that it would be so fulfilling for the human race to interact with an alien species. What if I were to tell you that I know that life does exist on other planets? I would say I need some bona fide assertion, uh, bona fide evidence of that assertion to convince me. I have such evidence. Yeah, what is it? For starters, let me explain something. There's a planet known as Planet John Q that mirrors the events that take place at Westerberg High School here on planet Earth. There's a Westerberg High School on planet John Q with the same people. The events that take place at Westerberg High School on planet John Q are an alternative take of the events that take place at Westbrook High School on planet Earth. How do you know this? I know this because I met an alien named Candle from planet John and Q. 
Candle took with Sawyer and I to play a John Q where we saw some amazing things. Can we meet Kando? Yes, you can, as a matter of fact. He's here today. Kando walks into the classroom to greet Dalton in her science class. Good morning, class. I am Kando from Planet John and Q. It's nice to meet you, Kando. It's nice to meet you, Harlan. So, what brings you to planet Earth, Kando? My wife is a Dorex. Fled planet John and Q. With an alien with whom she is having an affair. My heart is broken. My love for her was more important than almost anything in my life. I have come to planet Earth to get Isadorex back. Can you forgive Isadorex for having an affair, Kandal? Maybe. But only if Isadorex shoves her naked ass in my face. Suddenly, Miss Sawyer appears to the class at the door. Excuse me, class, I need to talk to speak to Mr. Donner. What is it, Veronica? Come see me in the hallway. They go to the hallway. What's on your mind, Veronica? Would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? Sure, Veronica. What would you like to see? There's a movie being shown there featuring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder called Love Destiny. I would love to go. It's nice to look into your eyes of welcoming serenity. Oh, how I have yearned to kiss your soft lips of luxury. And touch your hair, Veronica. I'll see you tonight. Dalton Donner and Miss Sawyer Go to the movies that night to see the movie Love Destiny. Featuring Mike Meyer went on a rider at the Dream Love Theater. Mike walks up to the concession booth to buy a bucket of popcorn for himself and went on a rider when he sees a student of his, Bertha. Hi, Mr. Donner. How surprising to see you here. I'm here with Miss Sawyer tonight. I can see that. Suddenly Bertha grabs some candy and a bucket of popcorn and runs out of the theater screaming. Mr. Donner look, looks at the theater and play in disbelief. What was that? Do you know her? Yeah, she's a student of mine. She's in my science class. That bitch is in your science class? She sold popcorn and candy from me. Yeah. It looks as though she took off with some popcorn and candy she didn't pay for. Is she a good student? Yeah. That's why I'm so surprised. Mr. Donner walks back to uh, see Miss Sawyer. You won't believe it, Miss Sawyer. Bertha Chevalier stole popcorn and candy from here. Really? She stole popcorn and candy from here? Yeah, she stole popcorn and candy. 
She took off with the popcorn and candy. It's just popcorn and candy. Let her have the popcorn and candy. Okay. Dalton Knight and Miss Sawyer are watching Love Destiny. At the Dream Love Theater, Mr. Donner looks into Miss Sawyer's eyes and speaks to her. You look lovely tonight, Miss Sawyer. Thanks, Dalton. I think I need a snack. You want more snacks? Sure, that would be delicious. What is it that you want? I wouldn't like anything with gooey caramel in it. That's going to be delectable. I'm going to go and get that for you. Mr. Donner walks up to the concession booth and he sees a theater employee there named Penelope. Good evening. I'm here with my date, Veronica Sawyer. She has requested a snack from this here concession booth. A snack? That's what we have, snacks. That's the only thing we have. My point exactly. That is why I came. I came because I knew I could get a snack. What kind of snack would you like? My girlfriend, Veronica Sawyer, has requested anything with gooey caramel. Gooey caramel? We don't have anything with gooey caramel. Are you being serious? You don't have anything with gooey caramel? This is a movie theater concession booth! There has to be something here with gooey caramel in it. Sure. A person might surmise that uh, a movie theater concession booth would under no circumstances be lacking in that devilishly delightful ingredient gooey caramel. These, however, are extenuating circumstances. Extenuating? In what way? Bertha, your student, has stolen the snacks containing gooey caramel. Also, her and her minis have stopped production of any snacks, any food items containing gooey caramel. She's quite an evil person. I don't know how I'm going to go on living. Life without gooey caramel? Just ponder that for a moment. What about love? You have that. Yeah, I love love. But I want my fucking gooey caramel. Then we must stop Bertha. I'll talk to you about this later, Penelope. I need to go see the woman I love, Miss Sawyer. I'll see you later, Dalton. Dalton Honor goes back to his uh, seat next to Miss Sawyer. Where's our snacks? They didn't have anything with gooey caramel in it, Veronica. I love you. 
That's wonderful. Where are our snacks? Bertha, your student, um, stole the snacks containing gooey caramel and stopped production of any food items containing gooey caramel. We must stop her. I agree. The movie stars. The stars of the movie Love Destiny are Mike Meyer, Winona Ryder. Dalton Donner looks at Miss Sawyer and speaks to her. I know something very interesting about this movie, Veronica. Yeah? What is that, Dalton? The characters in this movie, Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder, are the real-life people who portray us. The archetypal characters in the realm of archetypes or fiction exist. Really? That's fascinating, Dalton. Also, since the Westbrook High School exists, that exists on planet Janicu, shows a mirror image of the uh, events that take place on planet Earth, Mike Meyer shall have a love affair with one of the writers' destiny. That's beautiful, Dalton. You know what else is beautiful? What, Dalton? You, Veronica. When I look into your eyes, my soul is transported to a plateau upon which I can gaze upon a field of immortal beauty with flowers of wisdom, flowers of eternal wisdom, that beckon us to consummate our predestined love. Okay, so see so was uh, um, um, Dalton Donner is sitting in the Dream Love Theater, watching the movie Love Destiny with his destined love, Veronica Sawyer. He speaks, the stars of the movie are Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder. Let's enter scene one of the movie. In this scene, Mike Meyer is uh, in class at Pleasant Meadow High School in Happy Springs, Iowa. A town that is set up in, the, in Iowa in the future. The characters that Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder portray in the movie, our Black Meyer would order Ryder respectively. They are seated next to each other in calculus class. Because they were, they had the same last name, they are both very quiet, reserved people, but. Very studious and smart. Neither of them socializes much with other students, opting instead to study their class work on the weekends. They are both extremely shy, and they both love learning and love challenging their minds with some of the most brilliant theories and concepts in the fields of science, math, history, philosophy, religion, psychology, philosophy, and architecture of some of the most brilliant people in those fields. Mike sees Winona in the library one day at Pleasant Meadow High School. I am Mike. I've always wanted to meet you. Oh, hi, I'm Winona. It's cool. We have the same last name. Winona Meyer and Mike Meyer. Isn't it? I noticed you looking through a book about astral projection. I'm fascinated by astral projection. So am I. My study of quantum physics in combination with my studies of more new age topics has given me a perspective on human life 
in which that which may at first glance seem to be impossibilities are really a part of a transcendent reality that indeed is sustained forever by the very nature of these transcendent realities. Wow, Winona. We think a lot alike. I agree. This is a boring town, isn't it, Mike? I agree with that. They call it Happy Springs? This place is so fucking boring. How can you be happier? I want to get the fuck out of here, out of the Midwest, and move to California to be an artist. So do I. I think we should get together and create art. Are you with me? I sure am. How would you like to go to dinner with me tonight, Winona? That would be great. I would love to go. Okay, I'll meet you at Pierre's French Restaurant at 7 o'clock. I'll see you there. Dalton Donner and Veronica Sawyer are enjoying thoroughly the movie Love Destiny featuring Mike Meyer and Winona Ryder when Dalton looks into Winona's beautiful eyes and begins speaking to her. The love between you, Winona, and Mike appears to be destiny. Do you always talk to characters in movies on the silver screen, Dalton? I feel a deep sense of preordained love between Mike, Winona Meyer and Mike Meyer in this movie. It is my belief that in the archetypal realm where fictional movies exist, fiction takes on a reality of its own that transcends the reality that we experience. It is a reality in which awareness is heightened And sexual pleasure is enhanced to a level of both physical excitation and spiritual discovery in which both people involved not only have a physical orgasm, but a spiritual orgasm that enables them to see into a reality both vast and eternal as the consummation of their love is also their doorway to immortality. I agree with you, Dalton. Their love seems to be destined. I feel a deep sense of connection to some of their, these characters as if I can communicate with them psychically. That's amazing. Hey, look, Veronica, it's Bertha, Bertha Chevalier sitting by herself with a bucket of popcorn. Yeah, that bitch. The bitch who stole popcorn and candy. And stop production of any snacks containing gooey caramel. Bitch. I'll have to talk to her soon. Is she she's a good student? She's a very good student. She has a devious side to her and some strange personality quirks, but outside of that, she brings in a, a unique intelligence to class discussions. She's actually kind of fun. But it fucking sucks that she stopped production of snacks containing gooey caramel. That does suck, Dalton. Yes, Veronica, what is it? You better not be cheating on me. Cheating? On you? I could never cheat on you. Dalton? Yes, what is it, Veronica? I could see lust in your eyes. Lust. In my eyes. Maybe it's called a Lust for knowledge. I'm a 
Teacher, I'm supposed to have that. Thanks for not trusting me. What kind of knowledge are you lusting for, Dalton? The knowledge of what that woman's ass would look like naked, or? No, Veronica. It's a lust for scientific knowledge. You're such a dork, Dalton. There you go. Don't cheat. You, you bring my soul to plateaus of enchantment. Um. Okay, there's more of it. Wait a minute, there was more, wasn't there? Okay.